Okay, so uh, I want to tell you about my journey. I was an old school teacher, and we, we create a class that looks like this. I sort of used to be this teacher, the old, uh, you know, no talking and don't do anything fun in the room. And because of that, we had a lot of this. And we had tons of this. And of course, kids didn't like it. They weren't engaged in it at all. I mean, you can see this young man here, and that's pretty much what we had in that model. Ultimately, we got this. And, you know, back in the days of me being a traditional teacher, I was okay with this. It was just like, you know, well, I'm here to teach, you're here to learn, and you don't really have to like it. What that gives us, though, is failing schools. So my question was, if we know these methods don't work, why do we continue to use them? And it, it took me a while, but finally I asked myself that. Why do we do it? And I came up with this. That's the way we've always done it. That's the problem, is that in education, we don't change enough. And eventually I said, I have to make a change. What I did is I started doing some research. I started looking at some people who have researched motivation, have researched kids, education, and I said, what do they think is the way to do this? Daniel Pink, Intrinsic Motivation. Alfie Cohn, uh, who shows the deleterious effects of homework, grades, and control. Uh, Stephen Krashen. Stephen Krashen talks a great deal uh, about poverty and how impoverished kids aren't engaged in learning at all. And we need to deal with that first. And then we need to come at them in a much different way. Nancy Atwell taught me a great deal about conversation. Finally, I went out and looked for some technology of my own. Uh, Richard Byrne runs a fabulous site that updates you on free technology tools daily. And there were many others as well. So again, I got to the point where I said, you know what? I think I'm ready for change. I wanted this. I wanted to put that digital interactivity into my classrooms. I needed collaboration. In the old model, I really didn't have it at all. I finally realized that direct instruction, too, can be interactive. That if you get kids looking at video and you get them working together, that they will enjoy instruction more. Fortunately, my class started looking like this. Suddenly, my circle of learning changed. I got to uh, digital learning, and we were producing amazing, digitally enhanced, project-based things through technology. Students were getting and giving feedback digitally. They were changing their work to ultimately demonstrate mastery. And that's really where we need to go in education. My students got a technology toolkit. And I think that's where we're we are today.